Hello, my name is Mike Becker and I'm Product and Marketing Manager here at Nexperia. Welcome to my quick learning session about low QRL MOSFETs. Today we are looking at the effects of the reverse recovery charge and the reverse recovery current in a typical switching application. QRR is the reverse recovery charge and it's associated with the body diode of the MOSFET. QRR is typically one of the last parameters given on a data sheet and as a result of this can often be overlooked or misunderstood by design engineers. The QRR effect however can be quite significant in your application and gives rise to both spiking and ringing and also to efficiency losses in a switching application. So during the dead time when the load current flows through the body diode, then this gives rise to the stored charge QRR. When the high side MOSFET turns on, the load current flows into the inductor, but also we have an additional current, uh, which is the reverse recovery current associated with this stored charge. And this pulse can be quite significant, typically tens of amps, for tens of nanoseconds. And this current gives rise to additional I squared R losses in the high side MOSFET, but also interacts with the inductance in the PCB to give the spike and the ringing or the resonance associated with the, with the switching cycle. The reverse recovery charge gives rise to efficiency losses in the application. At low load current, then the dynamic losses can be quite significant. At high load current, then the losses are typically associated with the I squared R of the MOSFET and the dynamic losses can be less significant. So you can see a typical efficiency curve here. Um, at 5 amps, a low QRR MOSFET can give up to 5% improvement in efficiency and at 20 amps, a low QRR MOSFET can give around 2% efficiency uh, in your application. So just to recap, low QRR MOSFETs offer a number of benefits in your application, including reduced current spiking, which gives rise to the voltage spike that you see in your application. Ultimately, this helps to reduce the EMI emissions from your product and also, also gives a higher efficiency in your application. For more information, please go to nextperia.com and search for Next Power 100 Volt MOSFETs. Thank you.